Hola. Hey guys, it's your girl LA in LA, and today's video is long overdue, girl. School has been getting the best of me, you guys. As you can see with all the stuff going on on my wall, I have so many due dates, I have so much stuff to do. Literally all I know is that I have this Yerba to keep me going. I don't know if any of you guys drink Yerbas, but... Yerbas are everything, okay? Obviously, I haven't filmed in a really, really long time, so I'm kind of nervous, so just bear with me if I literally track off the actual conversation of the video. I have a list of videos that I am supposed to film, so to be quite frank, I haven't even picked what I'm filming right in this moment. I just decided to turn on the camera. I never really do that. I usually have like a plan of what I'm filming, so here we are. I think it's just gonna be a little chit chat. This is really authentic Lekum. Like, you are getting the mess, you're getting the hair, you're getting it all, honey, okay? It's such a stressful time for everybody involved. I think if you're doing classes online or just anything that you were doing regularly in person has now been transferred online, that is really difficult. And then people who also have in-person things to do, it's just so much to balance. So let's just get into everything. I think I'm gonna do my makeup just simply because I am gonna go out later on. I usually have a lot of things to do, so today is one of those days where I have checked a lot of things off my list. I literally took off a whole post-it note yesterday, which was super exciting because I started that day and I finished all through everything that I had. So yeah, I mean, I wanted to talk to you guys about a lot of different things, how to handle stress, how to handle life right now, girl. It is tough. And I'm not gonna sit here and tell you like I figured it out, but but I think I cracked the code just a little bit. So I'm here to share what I've learned in the past couple months. So since I am gonna make this video a little bit of a get ready with me slash chit chat style, I'm gonna start with my hair. And I did do these braids by myself, you guys. I actually meant to film this because this was my second time braiding hair and I still didn't film it. <sighs> So third time's a charm, hopefully. I want to show you guys how I braid hair. I never really understood how to braid hair until very, very recently. So I have some tips and tricks for you guys that I am also still learning. So, you know, it'll be a nice little way to have a beginner's chit chat of how to braid hair, why you should braid hair, how it helps, all that fun stuff. So today for my hairstyle, as you can see, these are really far apart braids. So I'm planning on doing better next time. So what I think I'm just gonna do is I'm gonna take these two and just kind of take it to the back. I really love this style. So I'm gonna leave this out since that was like my design braid. I was really proud of it. And we're just gonna do exactly what I did the first time, which, ooh. Actually, they're right here. <laughs> Which is grab these two little strands of hair and just make sure everything is kind of just like settled. As of now, my braid life is pretty good. I think these braids have been in for about two and a half weeks now. So I'm pretty happy with where they're at. Like obviously I should probably just take them off soon. So now that I have like my hairstyle picked, I can just put this hair a little bit to the back so I can just kind of get started on my makeup. And I, again, I haven't really decided what kind of makeup I want to do. I haven't decided anything for today. So we're just going to go with the roll. We're going to go with the flow, honey. And I haven't done a full face in a really long time, you guys. So I'm kind of excited to get into this, but I don't know what kind of makeup I want to do for today. I know I want to put eyeshadow on, so that's why it's kind of taking me a while and I'm rambling right right now, sorry. I haven't done blue in a, in a cool minute, so that would be like really nice. I just feel like blue is always like a nice little like eyeshadow color. And yeah, I mean, look at this blend right here. That's pretty cute. As y'all know, right before my makeup, I always love to whip out that Mario Badesco honey. It just always does something. I feel like my makeup sticks more to my eyes. And then obviously right before I start my eyes, I do my primer. But honestly, y'all, I feel like overwhelmed. And I, at first I was like, I really need to film a video. I haven't filmed in so long. I don't know if I've said this before to you guys, but when I film, a lot of my friends can attest to the fact that like, I seriously pre-plan so hard. And with COVID and with everything going on, it's very hard to do that. Like it's, it's nearly impossible to be quite frank because you can't really plan for mishaps or anything happening in life. So I think I'm realizing myself to just kind of take a step back and not put as much pressure on myself when it comes to filming because at the end of the day, it should be something I enjoy, which I do truly enjoy it. So, and I'm still trying to make sure I keep that energy for you guys because I don't want to come on the camera and be all sad and stuff. But 
At the same time, I have to keep it real with you guys. Like it's really hard to balance everything at once that I have going on right now. So I can tell you guys what it is and we can unpack it a little bit. And then if you guys want to comment down below what is going on in your life, how you know COVID, how school online has been affecting you. And I also will do a video where I talk about the tips and tricks that I've been using to stay on track because I have been on track. It's just really hard to be on track with everything else going on in my life. So I will give you guys some really good tips and tricks on that because if I can do it, honey, you sure can. To give you guys just a little bit of background on what I do on a day-to-day -day basis, I always forget how hard it is to film and talk at the same time. I mean, not to film. <laughs> To do your makeup and film at the same time, it's super hard. I have been working full time, essentially. And I know people are like, how do you work full time and do school? And it's like, girl, I literally am doing this so I can get the finances to get a car, the finances to get a bunch of things that I need when I graduate within the next year. So that's how life is right now. <laughs> and I think that that's the reality of it is that like we're all trying to prepare for situations that come because COVID was not something that anyone prepared for. So. I think we're all trying to be in a place where we're all financially stable, emotionally stable, hopefully too. I work as a waitress basically full time right now. That's my gig. <laughs> with that being said, it is really difficult, you guys, to keep up with the waitressing life, but also keep up with school. And then when you add YouTube on top of it, it's just like, all right, girl, you ain't gonna be doing too much. <laughs> And I even was speaking to one of my really favorite teachers from freshman year and I'm taking her class again this year. But I was talking to her and I was like, dude, I'm, you know, your class is getting really hard and intense. Like, I don't know if it's just me or whatever. And she was like, I think you're trying to do too much at once because I feel like I have to overcompensate for school. And obviously that's not something anyone should have to feel. Um, but I feel that way specifically because I'm working. So I feel like I have to put in more work. The work that I turn in is almost too much. Like she was like, girl, you're writing 2000 word paragraphs for answers that should be 140. So that should kind of like give you a background of how I've been anticipating the semester to just go hard. And then now it's kind of like mellowing out, but then it's like slowly peaking up and like right Right when I'm like trying to peek up with it, some of my classes just aren't going at the pace that I guess I expected them to. So it's just, it's hard dealing with all that, all that extra stuff on top of the fact that I can't do everything on time that I naturally am used to doing. I'm sure everybody feels that way right now. And I mean, a lot of teachers are understanding of that fact. So that's a really like good thing. But some are just simply not, y'all. That's just the way the cookie crumbles, I guess. And like, I, I, you know, I'm being very proactive. I did a bunch of homework yesterday so I could make time to film today. And I feel really good about that, but I'm not gonna have this free time that I have right now, every week, especially with all these exams coming up very soon. Like, girl, I barely have time to breathe. I personally, I don't know if anybody else feels this way. Put your hand up, <laughs> but I feel like I just need to slow down. Like I've been listening to her song, Slow Down by Skip Marley, like on repeat for the past couple days. And I'm just trying to get myself to slow down, to take a second, to actually like smell the flowers and smell the coffee or whatever that stuff is. <laughs> um, Cause otherwise it's just like life gets boring and tedious. It's like, I don't want to work every day, you know? YouTube is such a great outlet for me. And I encourage anybody who doesn't have a channel right now to think about this because you have the time to create a legacy for yourself, you know? And you have the time to create like a sort of diary for yourself to look at in the future, for your kids to look at, um, and for people, other people to look at and to use and to reference. And I think a lot of people are like, oh my God, like you should never share your diary. But like, I think we should. I think those are the things that we should share. And why is Anne Frank's diary everywhere, but mine can't be? Like, you know, no tea, no shade. <laughs> like respect to Anne Frank and all that. But I think that her sharing her story and other people sharing theirs is actually what helps us not perpetuate those same ideals and same issues that we constantly find ourselves doing in history. You know, I, I encourage y'all to not necessarily start a channel, but maybe journal or something like that that helps you kind of like gather all your thoughts together because it's really, really helpful to have an outlet of some sort and specifically something that doesn't talk back to you. <laughs> a lot of opinions can crowd your own judgment. And that is something I've very recently learned too, that I need to just not talk to my friends about what's going on. I need to just kind of sit, reflect, talk to a camera, talk to myself, come up with the answers, you know? And that I found has been more useful to me for sure. And not saying that you shouldn't talk to your friends. I just think that sometimes when you talk to your friends, their opinions get into your head. 
and that's what used to happen to me all the time, like literally all the time. I would talk to somebody about a situation and they would tell me how to feel, tell me how to act. And subconsciously without realizing it, I had nothing else to do but act that way, you know? Cause I was like, oh my God, my friend thinks I should be mad. I'm gonna be mad. When it's like, I wasn't really mad about that situation. I was just hurt or something like that, you know? So far, the thing that has helped me the most in being successful this school year is making the space for school. Like actual physical space. Like I, there's this desk here that was not here like a month and a half ago. And I think I even mentioned that in one of my videos that we just got a desk. And then there's also a shelf right here. It has all of my books on one side and all of Sam's on another. And then we have pencils, we have pens, we have, you know, our school books and then we have our shoes at the bottom. So it's become like a bookshelf slash shoe shelf. And that's really nice because it's like, Thank you. <laughs> you know what? I came on here to try to send some positive vibes. So I'm gonna try to end this video on like really positive notes. So I don't know if I did this in the beginning of the video. I meant to do this. So let's hope I did it in the beginning. And if not, here it is. <laughs> my roses and thorns. I think this is a really great way to start a positive segment of the video. It so my thorns for the week would be the fact that I had so much work Okay, like so, so, so much. Like it's still there. But my rose is that I've done a really good amount of it so that I can film for you guys and like take the time to really get back to what makes me me and that part of that is YouTube and you guys. So I am back and I'm back to stay and I hope that I can upload for y'all as much as I can. I don't wanna make promises. I don't wanna make a schedule. I just wanna make videos y'all. For real, like that's just where I'm at right now. So let's try to um, create a very positive environment where we can, you know, post some vids and chat and all this fun stuff that I feel like I need right now to be quite frank. Like it's not even like a want situation. I just feel like I need to talk about things and actually give you guys the tea on what is going on without holding back. And I feel like that's something I would think I was afraid of before I film this video, but I already feel so comfortable just talking about it, that this can be that kind of environment where we can foster amazing conversations and actually talk about the real stuff that's going on in the world, not just, oh, new trends, new this, new that. Another positive thing, I guess, that I could talk to you guys about are my goals for the week. So something that I'm really excited and looking forward to this week is definitely getting me some Fenty skin. It's right here on my list of things to do this week. I just wanna try all her Fenty skin products. I think it should be like 100 bucks for all of them, or like 88 or something like that. So it shouldn't even be that much. And there are like three or four items and I, I, I'm down. I'm here for the party, so should be really fun um, and I will be doing a video on that within the week of me filming and posting this video. As we've seen before, I've used Flesh and I used to use some Sephora. So I do like to blend these two in together. I've realized that creates like a really nice blend for me that I personally like. So I put a little bit on my fingers and then I <laughs> dabble around. I'm putting all the darker parts on the outside of my face and then we're just gonna go all the way around on this side to here and kind of just drag it all oh my god speaking of drag guys i've been obsessed with RuPaul's drag race how have i not even brought this up like literally it's the only thing that brings me joy in life i think i should have said that in the beginning of this video and i'm so upset that i did it but if you've made it this far you cracked the code as to how i stay sane girl because when i tell you ru keeps me in check homegirl really keeps me in check like it's such a phenomenal show you guys definitely check it out if you haven't i am giving you guys true true bliss this is a complete look basically but yeah girl and now i can get my work day slash hangout later day all set up and i'm super excited for it you guys tell me what y'all think definitely comment down below what you guys think i didn't expect it to turn out as good as it did but it does i feel like it always does because my expectations are here and that's what it should be for everybody always have your expectations down here have your goals up here and hopefully it lands somewhere in the middle right that's the goal <laughs> so we finally reached the homeostasis the destination of it all i really appreciate y'all for sticking through this video it was rambled it was jambled it was whew, a mess but you guys aren't and i love you guys so much i haven't talked to you guys in a minute and it's really nice to just sit down and kind of like catch up see what's going on so definitely comment any thoughts you guys have down below let me know if you want the learn them hard with luck or a fall look coming up and also if you have any fall colors that you think would look on me 
let me know. I love you guys so much. Stay safe, stay abundant, stay happy. Try your best to get that energy out in any way, shape, or form. I already feel better by just talking to you guys and doing my makeup on camera, and now I even look good, sis, so. I'm ready to take over the day. And now what? You better work. Hold on.